So good morning class. Today we start the uh, our first lecture on machine learning algorithms. The subject code is BAIL203. Myself, Dr. Gopal Sakarkar, I'm the department from Artificial Intelligence, GS Raikoni, College of Engineering, Nasa. You can also subscribe to my channel. The link is available. Before we start the course, first we understand what are the core objectives. Why we uh, learn this subject, even though you are from the different branches. The main objective of this course is to introduce the student to the basic machine learning algorithms. So nowadays, artificial intelligence and machine learning are very popular and they are widely used. So to understand the concept of machine learning and artificial intelligence, we are introducing this subject to all the core branch students so that they will get up to the mark knowledge, up to date mark, up to date knowledge of machine learning because it is widely used in every sector, not only in a computer, it is related with all the businesses, starting from the agriculture, transport, education, retailer, stock market, networking, everywhere you can see the buzzword that is machine learning is nowadays used and they are giving the very good results after the implementation. So how we can use the machine learning for your branch, you think on it, because artificial intelligence and machine learning are also applicable in electrical branches. So you can get a various application specific to your domain so that they will either, it will be useful for you to implement a machine learning. So this is the first objective of the course. Then what are the course outcome? After completing of this course, the student has to understand the complexity of machine learning algorithm and their limitations. There are number of algorithms are available in machine learning. So you have to identify the problem, along with that you have to find out which algorithm is suitable for which problem, so that you will get the more accurate probability or output. For that you have to understand the complexity of machine learning algorithm, obviously with their limitations. The second outcome is understand the modern notation in machine learning and computing. In machine learning, we are used the various mathematical computations, mathematical notations, and uh, statistical operations. So you must understand the mathematical notation and modern notation to implement the machine learning algorithm. The student will be capable of Confidently apply the common machine learning algorithm in a practice and implement their own. So after completing this course, you will be able to apply the machine learning algorithm in various domains. The student will be capable of performing the experiment in machine learning using real world data. So nowadays uh, you can see the machine learning are used in various applications, for example, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Gmail, everywhere they are used the machine learning. So you can be, you can be capable to perform this experiment on real world data. What are the four things we have to cover? in this lecture. Within this course, in the first unit, we will cover the introduction, 
including the, some basic definition, then type of, type of learning, different types of learning we will see. Then we will move the very important topic that is the hypothesis phase and index to bias. Then evaluation and the cross validation. So how we evaluate of our machine learning algorithm we will see in this evaluation course and the cross validation. How we can validate our data we can see in the last topic of the unit number one. Unit number two more specific the machine learning algorithm in which we will see the linear regression widely used of the machine learning algorithm in various sectors. Then we will see the decision tree. The decision tree is used when you want to take some decision. For example, if there is a rainy season, so can it possible to organize the cricket match on that particular day? So the management has to take a decision. This is a management or any government management has to take a decision that can it possible to organize the match during that time duration. So how we can take a decision? So to take the decision there are the various algorithms we will see that will use to take the decision. That decision may be related to your business, that decision may be related to your day to day problem. Then we will see the overfitting concept that is associated with the decision tree. Then instance based learning. Feature reduction, a feature is nothing but a database, in a database we are used the different attributes and that attributes are belonging to the features. In the end of this unit too we will see the most vibrant and useful application that is called as a collaborative filter based recommendation. This collaborative filtering based recommendation is very popular in e-commerce sector. You may be familiar with Amazon's recommendation system, Facebook recommendation system, where in Amazon when you are purchasing some electronic gadget, they will give you the, some recommendation. The another product related to your purchase product. For example, if I purchase the laptop, they will give the some recommendation that you can purchase the screen guard, you can purchase a mouse, you can purchase a laptop cover, you can purchase a laptop bag, so on. So selecting based on your selected item, giving the some recommendation that is called as a collaborative filtering based recommendation. In unit number three, we will move to the more in depth with uh, probability and bias learning, logistic regression, support vector machine, and the kernel function. These are the core of machine learning algorithm where we will see in depth how we can implement the machine learning algorithm. In unit number 4, we will move to the computational learning theory, CPA learning model, sample complexity, VC dimension and assembly learning. So how our machine learning algorithm learn? So we will see in this unit using the various the topics and in last we will move to the very popular concept that is called as a clustering in which we will see the k-means clustering, adaptive hierarchical clustering and Gaussian mixture model. These are the very popular clustering 
application. To understand this concept in more detail, you can go to my book. Name is Introduction to Machine Learning. Published by Das Janu Prakashan. It is available in our library. So for more detail, you can read the book Introduction to Machine Learning. Another book is provided you hands on. You can purchase this book, Dr. A. Krishna Mohan, C. Murli Mohan, and Karuna Karan. Python with Machine Learning. Publisher. H. Chen Prakashan. And if you want more detail about the machine learning, so you can refer the introduction to machine learning by Ethan Alpha with MIT Press, Cambridge. This is a good sufficient for you to understand the basic of machine learning algorithm. This is available in math to read it. Now, let us start the machine learning algorithm. So, some of you know that machine learning is nowadays a very buzzword. It means in every sector you can see the word artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. So these two or three words are very popular after 2018 onwards. Why the AI and machine learning and deep learning are so popular? Is it they are invented in after 2000? Is the AI very new concept or technology? The answer is no. Why the machine learning or artificial intelligence are so popular nowadays? There are the two reasons. The first one is because of high amount of data produced by the application. So you can see that from the last two or three years, everybody has now used the mobile. And because of this smartphone mobile, each user has a number of applications installed on their mobile. These applications are continuously connected with the internet and you are at your end generating the number of data. For example, when you went to any tool, you are clicking a picture, you are uploading it. When you are going to any function, you are Taking a movie picture or short movie, short video, upload it. So it happens continuously by the number of internet users. And because of that, a data on internet is increases from the last five to three years. And it was drastically increased because of internet speed. So last from last five years, you can see the internet speed speed is now increases, and because of that, the people are now very much interested to join Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or any social website, and they are continuously uploading the data on internet as well. You can send in the emails. So today, uh, everything is now an online. Your office is also online. Your teaching is also online. Your purchasing is also online. 
So because of that, the high amount of data is available now freely on internet. And this is one of the reasons that why the machine learning algorithms are very much popular. Because the machine learning algorithm requires only the data. So if you have the large amount of data, so your machine learning application will be the accurate recommendation. The another reason behind the popularity of machine learning is the increasing increase of computational power. In the past past few years, you can see the processor has now increases, even though your mobile has 2 GB RAM, 4 GB RAM with 128 hard disk and good quality of processor. So because of NVIDIA GPU, NVIDIA is a company, they are providing the GPU all over the world. They are available nowadays at your laptop also. Before it, they just use as a server, but now the GPUs are available in laptop also. So because of this increasing of computational power, To execute the machine learning algorithm is nowadays is very easy. There are the some online providers they can allow to run the machine learning algorithm. A very good example of Google Colab. In a Google Colab, you can implement your machine learning algorithm and you can execute in online. It will execute the Google Colab, execute your code on their server using the GPU. So the GPU now are available at a free of cost. And because of that, machine learning is so popular nowadays. But what is exactly the machine learning? So as I already tell you, the machine learning is not invented in a decade ago. It was invented or it was present from the last 15 years, 16 years. And the first definition of machine learning was given by the author, author Samuel in 1953. Here the Samuel say, the machine learning algorithm enables the computer to learn from the data and even improve themselves without being explicitly programmed. This is the beauty of machine learning algorithm. Where they are self-programmed, they improve themselves. There is no need to make a changes in your code. It is improve themselves. And it is learned from the data only. And because of that, the machine learning, even though was invented in 1950s, was not so popular because till 2010 or 2015, the data is available, availability of data is very less. And for so that, you cannot implement the machine learning algorithm and this is the first reason behind that the machine learning was not so popular. But because of nowadays machine learning requires data is not available and also the computational power is now nowadays high, so machine learning are so popular. Machine learning is a category of an algorithm that allows the software applications to become more accurate in predicting the outcomes without being explicitly programmed. So in machine learning, there is no need to write down the hard code program. 
you are getting the output without writing the large code for the application because all the algorithms are available in, a, in the form of package or in the form of library. So you have to just call the library, you have to just call the package and provide the accurate data. So once you provide the accurate data, you will get the predicted outcome. And that is also without the explicit programming. It is a hassle free. The basic premises of machine learning is to build the algorithm that can receive the input data and use the statistical analysis to predict an output while updating the output as new data that become available. So this is a short introduction of machine learning. Now, how we can we differentiate our traditional approach and the machine learning approach? How the machine learning is different from the traditional approach? So from this, you can see that in traditional programming, you have to code the behavior of your program. So you want to write down the code from the scratch. And then you have to decide the behavior of your program, how it will be work. You will give the data along with the program to the computer, computer performing the processing and it will give the output. For example, let us consider I am writing a program for addition of a two number. And now we are giving the data as A equal to 10 and B equal to 20. Here the computer is nothing but the mediator. He is performing the processing on this program and it, it is received the data, it gives the output. So there is a predefined behavior of your program. While in other case, in machine learning, you leave a lot of that to machine to learn from the data. So here you can see we are providing the data in a both case, but you are writing the code here to how to handle this data. And where in machine learning there is no need to write a program, you are giving the what you are expecting that the output and the computer will give the some model and using that model you will get the some output. So this is a, a very advanced approach we are used in machine learning. We are, don't write, want to write a program in machine learning, whereas in traditional programming you have to write down the code, also you have to provide the data, while in machine learning you have to just provide in the data and your expected output. The other work will be handled by the machine learning algorithm. The machine learning has to learn from the data and it behave like it. So this is a basic difference between the traditional approach and the machine learning approach. Now, how the traditional approach is work? In traditional programming, it relies on hard code rule. So in traditional program, you have to write down the code first, and that is hard coding, means there is no change after once you write the code. Once you write the code, you have to evaluate it. If it is passed, it will do the production, its output, otherwise if it is failed, you find out you have to take a review on what are the errors in my program. Again, you have to go to a problem at hand and 
again write them the code, evaluate it, and if it is passed, it will do the corruption, it will do the output, otherwise it will do the, if it is failed, so you have to again find out the error. So this is a continuous process we have to follow in traditional programming. On the other hand, machine learning. In machine learning, what we have to do, we are providing a data. So the data play a most important part in machine learning algorithm. Here we are providing the training data example that train the machine learning model and evaluate it. If it is passed, it will produce the output and if it is failed, we have to again review it. So this is again the continuous process, but the difference is that here we are providing the training data before we start the program. So this is a very basic difference between the traditional programming and the machine learning approach. What are the techniques we have to use in machine learning? In machine learning, we have to use the K1 technique. We will see this K1 technique 